if you're buying any cards from TCG Player, please use the link in the description to help support my content. This video is sponsored by Photon Store, TCG Player, Pokemon Card.io, and Card Market. Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new series that I plan on doing um, maybe once per week, we'll see, um, where we ask ourselves, what if, right? What if, um, in this case, in today's episode, what if Ash Ketchum decided to play the Pokemon trading card game instead of um, battling with actual Pokemon? What if he decided to become a card player, right? What deck would he use? Well, I would imagine he would definitely be attending um, standard tournaments. And of course, he would be playing with Pikachu VMAX, right? Pikachu VMAX. Um, I do believe in the anime um, Pikachu's um, Ashes, Pikachu does um, Gigantamax, right, into Pikachu, uh, Gigantamax Pikachu, has the attack um, Volt Tackle or the Gigantamax Volt Tackle, I'm not exactly sure, but pretty sure this, something like this is what Ash Ketchum would be playing if he were playing in the Pokemon trading card game. The G-Max Volt Tackle can be pretty powerful doing 120 damage and then you may discard all energy from this Pokemon and if you do this attack does 150 more damage to your opponent's Pokemon so ideally we're gonna 2-hit KOing. The format is a 2-hit KO format overall um, so Pikachu in, on paper, in paper shouldn't be suffering too too much from um, from that, it will be a little difficult to um, set it up quickly, so that is why we are utilizing Fluffy with the Dynamotor ability, allowing you to attach a Lightning Energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. We also get to play with the special Speed Energies, where we get to attach. Um, we get to attach. This energy provides a lightning Pokemon if attached to a lightning, provides lightning energy if attached to a lightning Pokemon, and you get to draw two cards helping with the consistency a little bit, but of course we want our lightning energies to help out in pairing up Pikachu VMAX. Pikachu V is not a bad card in itself either, Thunderbolt doing 200 and you discard all energy from this Pokemon, but 200 also goes with the 2 hit KO um, format that we are right now sets up nice numbers so um, definitely an option and the charge attack allows you to immediately charge yourself up we have maximum consistency with the stormy mountains allowing you to search for a basic lightning pokemon and put it onto your bench of course let's us search for pikachu v and marip and we have level balls instances and quick balls now we do play a copy of cheryl if timed right we could actually use cheryl to trade or to turn a two hit ko into a three hit ko let Pikachu VMAX take a chunky hit and be able to survive a little bit more. And then in order to help support the deck, we have Krigatoon V with the exciting stage ability, allowing you to draw up to three cards um, in your hand, or if it's in the active, up to four. And Crobat V allows you to draw until you have six ones um, when you play them. Research Marnie and bosses round out the deck, and we have a few switching cards with our balloon and switches. So. Let's put on our Ash Ketchum hat and let's see if Ash Ketchum could survive the high ranking ladder of PTCGO. Yeah. So my idea behind this series is to um, bring other Pokemon characters from the anime, such as Brock, such as Misty. Um, I think what I want to do is um, also, for example, bring Professor Oak. Maybe Ash's mom, Giovanni, definitely. So all sorts of um, cool stuff, I would say. All right, so we have a fairly decent start and we get Molly and cards. The only thing that would make this better is if we were going first and we're up against Victini. All right, we seem to be up against a Victini VMAX deck. All right. That would be correct. So my point saying this Pikachu V will be very surprised, I imagine. Path to the peak. Thankfully, we have our Stormy Mountains right here. So we're gonna go ahead and play the Stormy Mountain. We're gonna go ahead and bench the Marib. All right. So nothing survives a hit from Victini VMAX next turn, right? That is guaranteed. So what I'm thinking here, I'm going to quick pull away the lightning. 
grab myself a Mareep and then grab myself a Pikachu, bench the Krikatoon, and I will go ahead and pass. I didn't get to charge. I didn't want to discard any of these cards at the moment. I fully expect my Pikachu V to go down and then we go promote Krikatoon, retreat. Oh no. Well, never mind. Well, never mind. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, the Marnie might help, but that was literally the worst case scenario right here. <laughs> the Tool Jammer and the Path to the Peak. And now we're dead drawing. So. Didn't get to play a supporter last turn. Not gonna get to play a supporter this turn. Not looking great. <laughs> I mean, but we all know Ash Ketchum. Um, yeah. We all know Ash Ketchum is in it for the passion and the love for Pokemon. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that was... Yeah, the worst possible thing that could happen ended up happening. So I guess the question wouldn't be, can Ash be successful in the latter? The question would be, could Ash and, Pika and his um, beloved Pikachu VMAX be able to win a game of Pokemon, right? So I guess that's the real question right here. Once again, no supporter. Okay, we get Mulligan, hopefully more than one. More than one Mulligan. We're up against Dragapult, which happens to... <laughs> All right, I mean... I... <laughs> this is just rough, you know? my four top decks literally my four top decks what the heck <laughs> okay so yeah we're gonna switch into the pikachu and we're gonna go ahead and charge right here. And you know what? I'm gonna send the Pikachu VMAX as well. I do have enough basic energies left. Yes, I do. I'm starting to wish I was playing four speed instead of 10 and two. All right, my Pikachu isn't threatened right here. I do have the Chunky Chew ready to go. No horror energy is also very good. I would not mind a Marnie, but no. When I don't want to get Marnied, I get Marnied. When I do want to get Marnied, not quite. All right. Pass to the peak. All right, next Phantom. It will get bonus prices on the Mareeps with that or the attack, right? I get the Marnie, okay. Interesting. All right, no need to attach extra energy to the Pikachu VMAX. It's literally worthless. I am not able to find another Pikachu to power up. That really sucks. I would not like to do the bonus damage right now, no. I will do it next turn, though. I will absolutely do it next turn. All right, I mean, we're in the game, at least. <clears throat> Dragapult, Dragapult VMAX, Incense for the quick shooting, yep. That makes sense. They can knock out a Reap, or I mean, they're definitely knocking out the Fluffy, right? Okay, we do get more need once again. Not into a dead hand, thankfully. That 
Can't jump the Reap. I was not expecting that. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead and research away the energy so we can hopefully attach it. <laughs> Except not quite. <laughs> Except not quite. Okay, there's Crobat. We can go ahead and attach you, bench you. Can I get any Flaffies? One. <laughs> One Flaffy. And a dead draw hand. Well, we're gonna get three prizes at least. Uh, you know what? Might as well thin as much as I can in case of future Marnies. All right, we took a knockout. <laughs> if it weren't for the bench damage, right? If it weren't for the bench damage, then we would probably be in a much, much better spot. Three almost completely worthless prizes. Only the last one was good enough. So my button knocks out my Pikachu and my Flaffy. And then all they need is a boss to win the game. If I hadn't benched that last Mareep. Yeah, it's over. Because now they go boss, KO the Mareep, or the Flaffy and KO Pikachu VMAX, probably the Mareep, right? Because this has more total HP than the Flaffy. Yeah, yep. And it's over, because I cannot KO this, and they can put the damage counters on the Flaffy, and it is over. If I hadn't benched those extra Flaffies, maybe I could have done something. It came. It always came down to them having boss, though. It always came down to them having boss. If I had gone first, the story could have been different. <clears throat> but yeah, there's no way for me to save that Flaffy. There is no way for me to save that Flaffy. So I guess Ash always battles till the end. <laughs> so there we go. All right. We tried, right? We tried. I feel like if we had won the coin flip, we might have had a chance right there. Or if I had imagined that I wouldn't need that third Mareep, which, meh, questionable, right? Questionable. All right, let's see what Ash's deck can do. Yeah, one more, one more chance for Ash. One more chance for Ash catch him right here. Right, so Galileo Leo is calling a coin flip. We actually win the coin flip, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> we win the coin flip, yet we get a horrible hand. I mean, basically, like, we, I'm definitely not attacking next turn. So, as I'll get rid of the Pikachu, I'll get the other Mareep, that way I have double Flaffy. And then I'll pass. Not the best. Not the best start right here. But Ash never gives up. No, <laughs> why another Dragapult deck? Come on. Ash never gives up. Ooh. Attaching to the active. I did not expect that. That compensates a bit for my start, right? It sort of compensates for my start. Sort of. And that top deck is actually very nice. That top deck is actually fairly decent. All right. We find Pikachu. 
and we get to almost power it up. If I imagine if I get another lightning energy off of this speed energy, that would be insane. Okay, I'm gonna limit the Flaffies to two. Oh, oh, all I'm missing is a switch now. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I mean, I wouldn't attack this solo, right? But still. Would have been pretty magical. I mean, I could Crobat. I do have two switches and two air balloons. So I think I'm gonna go for that. Because I do like using charge here. So, I'll just Crobat for three, that's fine. I want to have the Pikachu VMAX. Okay, nothing uh, in that regard for me. That's fine. My opponent can't attack me next turn with the like bench damage attack, which is good. All right. We'll see. We'll see what happens. The Cheryl could also be an important card to heal the Flaffy. Mm, but it would also eliminate all the energies from the Pikachu, which might not be a terrible thing. If I manage to get an Air Balloon on the Pikachu V Max, that would be pretty good. We'll see. We'll see. The Horror Energy is not great overall, for sure. Knocking out Sobble doesn't really matter. If I top deck boss though, that would be insane. Top decking boss's orders would actually be the dream right here. No. Okay, well that complicates things. That means goodbye Cheryl for sure. Ooh, okay. Double chunky chew. All right, well, now I need to, to dig for the switch. No way around it. <sighs> My opponent with a boss play. Come on. No. <laughs> Come on, dude. I have the chance to get ahead. I mean, my opponent didn't evolve. All right, to prevent, they're not gonna do it again, right? I mean, they could, but I'm gonna bank on them not doing it again. Oh, darn it. You'd imagine that was her top deck, right? Path? Okay, so now the question becomes, yeah, I, I mean, it's just, if I go after this guy, I have to get rid of all my energies, and clearly I don't have a switching card, right? So I might not be able to attack the turn after. So I'm not super sold on going after this guy just yet. Because if I KO this, and then they power up this, then I go after this, right? That could be pretty good. Wait, was that their top deck? Okay, if they commit an energy, I am absolutely going after them. Okay, never mind. Change of plans. <laughs> oh, they're just, they're not even, okay. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Why did that take so long? Gosh darn it, dude. Man. Not good. Absolutely not good. It's just, if I set up another Mareep, the exact same thing happens. The exact same thing happens as the previous game. So I need to not do that. Oh, that was brutal. I did not expect my opponent to, to have that. Oh, why did that take so long? That makes no sense. 
<clears throat> now they're gonna chain the drizzle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I can't punish the bad plays, man. Very frustrating. I would have loved to be able to. Uh, I don't know. They're really gonna chain all the drizzles. <laughs> that is such a horrible play. That is such a terrible way to go about it. Because now they don't have any more drizzles for after in case they need something. So doing that is literally the worst play you can do with your drizzle line. Literally the worst. But I have no punish for it, unfortunately. <clears throat> I don't have a punish for that play. That really sucks. They actually changed all of it. Like, I understand chaining two, right? But, but then you leave two options for Drizzle to search for cards you need, and you leave yourself two options for um, Intellium, right? Okay, so you're telling me that their top deck was either lovable or Marnie, and their price was either lovable or Marnie, really? <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, I don't have another Pikachu VMAX available. I, I don't know how I won this game. I, I mean, it's with both Pikachu VMAXs, right? It's Pikachu VMAX against Pikachu VMAX, that's how. That is how. Are they really gonna get triple Antillian next turn? Is that what's going to happen? <clears throat> and the math also works out perfectly. One damage counter on the active, four on the flappy. Oh, wow. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right, so I'm gonna fail this. I'm not gonna bench any more stuff. Play that. We'll go ahead and attach this energy. Siding stage. And now I take the knockout, right? Yeah, because you'd assume this Pikachu V Max is dead. I still haven't found a switching card either. That one turn, that one turn that I missed. Well, I mean, if they don't, if they just evolve, actually, it wouldn't matter. But right, back to back boss, boss, maybe it would. Yeah, it's gonna come down to them having boss, which they might get punished. Hopefully, they get punished by going for all their drizzles, dude. Hopefully. Hopefully they get punished for going for all the drizzles at the same time. <clears throat> I mean, the best punish would be them not having the VMAX right now. That would be the absolute best punish for sure. So they do have to place a damage counter on the active if they want to um to knock me out. Which you'd assume their play is KO Pikachu VMAX, put the damage counters on Krikatoon, and then boss KO Krikatoon, right? That's what you would expect. They do pinch another Dragapult. So now not getting that KO is a big punish for me. They find the VMAX raw. What? <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. 
Now they have access to a drizzle. Yeah, it's, it comes down to bosses orders, right? It comes down to bosses orders. Nothing we can do about it. They could try to be fancy and not put the damage counter, right? Um, I guess that it actually does, it forces me to have a switching card, so it actually doesn't change anything. But it doesn't give them access to their prizes. So, okay, so we know we're sending the drizzle to the bottom of the deck, and they're out all their level balls by, by the reckless play. So, so it comes down to the boss, right? How many do they play? Probably three. It comes down to the boss play. Simple as that. Any incense also fetches Drizzle, and they haven't played any incense so far. So yeah, their deck is full of um, full of outs. We're probably dead, but Ash Ketchum never never gives up. <clears throat> Ash Ketchum never ever gives up. Right. <laughs> All right. Quick shooting. Okay, so now the problem is, if they retreat, I don't have boss. <laughs> if they retreat, I do not have bosses orders. They're 10 short. And we know my bosses orders are at the bottom, so... Drawing that second boss of the speed energy. That was a mistake on my part, 100%. That was a mistake on my part, 100%. Chaining those drizzles and using all those level balls, though, that's such a terrible move. Terrible, terrible move. But yeah, so I played to my opponent on having boss, now they have to play to me on having boss. If they retreat and somehow don't attach, I might be safe, but you'd assume they're gonna attach, right? So they're realizing now they're 10 damage short. They do retreat. Do they attach? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they have one energy left, actually. Oh, but they might have switch or balloon. I mean, do they think I'm gonna KO them? I'm clearly not. Okay, well, <laughs> same situation. I'm gonna attach here, that way everything can retreat now. I don't have boss. I almost didn't have boss still. <laughs> now, even if I get Marnied, I can't whiff the boss. So I'm not gonna attack. Do they play an eighth energy? Or a third quick shooting Intillion? That works too. Oh, they do have the energy. Oh, why did I play the speed energy? If I had more need, I would have had the boss and that would have been the game. <sighs> that was on me. That was 100% on me. I should have won that game. I should have been able to punish my opponents less than good place, but I made my own less than good play. There was no reason to attach the speed energy. By attaching the speed energy, I made it so that I open up the possibility to not to drawing the boss, right? Which was so unlikely, but yet it happened. So what are you gonna do? Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. At least I tried, I really tried. And um, let me know what character you'd like me to, um, to do next. Bye-bye. Yeah.